Have you ever tasted synthetic meat? Is this the wave of the future? Does it really help the environment? Is there any other solution to factory farms? You know, synthetic meat has been promoted as uh, plant-based, clean meat, uh, to get away from all that unhealthy processed meat. But the question is, is it really plant-based and is it clean and less processed? I mean, it has less saturated fat, but let's take a look at what actually is in synthetic meat. All right, first ingredient, autolyzed yeast. Okay, well, that's not a plant. It's a flavor enhancer. Then we have bleached wheat flour. Now that does come from a grain, which is a seed of a plant, but it's not the actual green part of the plant. And of course, bleached flour has chemicals that destroy vitamin E, which is key for the heart. Then you have food dyes, which is not plant-based. It's pretty toxic, by the way. Artificial flavorings. Canola oil. Well, that's the oil of the seed, but it's not really the plant, but I guess it's plant-based, but it's highly unstable, and when you heat it, it gives off a lot of free radicals, and it's inflammatory. Then you have something called carrageenan. It will help the texture. It makes things more thick, but it creates a lot of digestive issues. Next one is copper sulfite, which actually acts as a pesticide. It can curb any type of microbial uh, growth. Corn oil, of course, corn's a plant, so I guess that would be plant-based, but it's GMO, it has residues of glyphosate, and it definitely can create a lot of oxidative stress and free radical damage. Corn syrup solids, dextrose, which is a synthetic sugar, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, and the vegetables they're talking about, again, is soy, corn, wheat, okay? Modified food starch, that's MSG. It's going to make it taste a lot better. And then you have something called mycoprotein. What is mycoprotein? Is this from mushrooms? No, it's from a fungus. That's right. They take these little threads of a fungus and they put it in this huge vat of glucose, probably made from GMO corn. And every five hours, this fungus grows. And then they add ammonia to it to then spike the growth of amino acids. And then they extract that. And I'm sure it's very, very pure and clean in the extraction process. Now, is it sustainable? Can we continue to live off this? And I'm going to put the disclaimer, live healthily. One thing I don't think they spent enough time when they did the research on this is to check the health of the individual who consumes this. One day I was at Whole Foods um, and I was looking through uh, the deli there and they had something that looked like chicken wings. I thought they were chicken wings. They were shaped like chicken wings. And so I bought some and I started eating them. And I'm like, is it, this is, must be chicken nuggets, right? Well, it was synthetic chicken nuggets. And oh my goodness, did I have the worst digestive problem. I was started to bloat. Um, I felt disgusted. So comment down below if you've ever consumed synthetic meat and if by consuming it, it made you feel better or gave you any additional health benefits. Because if something is going to be sustainable, it has to improve your health or else it's going to take away from your health and it's definitely not going to be sustainable. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.